Rust is the biggest, most popular and hardcore survival game on Steam and I've never actually tried it. After hearing all the stories about the game as well as the epic content people make surrounding it, I thought it'd be fun to jump in as a brand new player and see what the new player experience is like, hopefully making some friends along the way to teach me the ropes. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. AFK Arena is a strategic idle RPG available on Android and iOS and is a game that I personally play pretty much every day. Here's my progress so far. AFK Arena receives weekly updates and as of February 12th will be receiving its biggest PvP update so far in the form of a new game mode called War of Wits. Now before I explain what this game mode is, you need to know that every hero in AFK Arena has different abilities, strengths, weaknesses and synergies with other heroes. On top of that, your team composition can be enhanced if you pick heroes of the same faction to earn faction bonuses. There's a lot of strategic depth to this game and with War of the Wits you can jump right into balanced level playing field PvP right off the bat with no spending requirements. Starting out, players choose 8 cards each from a randomly shuffled deck. These cards contain heroes from the game's four different factions and relics that you can use to buff your own heroes or debuff your enemies. After that, you'll need to select the heroes that you want to go into battle and pick a formation that makes sense. So tanks typically in the front, ranged DPS and supports in the back, and assassins opposite the enemy's biggest damage threat. Next, click ready and sit back as the battle unfolds in real time with you hopefully winning thanks to your big damage and high IQ. AFK Arena also features many other fun game modes, with my personal favourite being the Peaks of Time, in which you explore a map to find treasure and solve some fairly complex puzzles, some of which I've actually had to look at guides on YouTube to get past. Use the gift code on screen for 30 free faction scrolls and 3000 diamonds before March 11th, and click the link in the description below to download AFK Arena today. My first time playing Rust. I've heard a lot about this game, not really too sure what to expect, but let's jump into some multiplayer. Yo, some of these servers can have like 450 players. That's a lot of players for a survival game. That's basically MMO territory. Wait, that's just official? 13,000 players in official servers, community servers, have even more. Wow, this, this game's super popular. Rust to feed, let's jump into it. Please don't have open mic by default. The last time I played a multiplayer survival game similar to Rust, I think it had open mic on by default, and I was running around making a YouTube video and when I've realized that everyone could hear me commentate, it felt like a bit of a donkey. It takes quite a while to load for the first time. I don't know if it's this long every time. Oh my god, have I spawned at night time? You're sleeping. Press any key to wake up. Okay. Okay. Dark game is dark, but thankfully I have a torch. If I right click, it lights the torch. So I've just got a torch and I've got a rock. I'm wet and it's too cold. Good job. Good start. Uh, there's a structure here. Let's seek shelter. This seems like the safe place for new players. Open. Ooh. How do I open it? Okay, it appears to be locked. Knock. Hey, stop! Okay, let's hit something with a rock. Okay, I've got a rock here. I think, I think I'm gathering. No, I don't think I'm gathering. Okay, hitting rock with rock, not a great technique. Seems as though things are getting a little bit brighter. Hopefully the sun's coming up soon. We're hitting this tree and we are getting wood. Is the tree going to fall down eventually? I guess we're going to find out. Okay, infinite wood tree. Let's check on the status of the tree. Oh, fucking hell, we did some big damage on that tree. Oh, there's a, a critical hit marker where we need to hit it, I think. And that has made the tree fall down. Nice. So I think what I need to do is I need to go find other players and I need to go make some friends and they need to teach me how to play Rust, I think. Ooh, quick craft. I can make a hammer just like that. Okay, go. Okay, so you queue it up and then it starts crafting the hammer. Now I have a hammer. What is the hammer for? Probably hitting rocks. No, hammer's not for hitting, hitting mountains. Well, <clears throat> at least the sun's coming up. Press G, open the map. Oh my god, is that the size of the world? Bloody hell. Pretty big. What are these green things? Shops. You can open player shops in this game. Yo, Rusta. Seems like a kind of like an MMO survival game almost. Seems pretty big. Blinded by the sun coming up. Wow. 
And everywhere we look, each direction, there's something interesting to go check out. Let's go to this building. I'm already quite amused by the chat that's been popping up in the bottom left. Oh, this looks mineable. It's got a... Okay, I've got some sulfur ore. So I guess the rocks that you can mine are a little bit obvious. My character must have arms like tree trunks to be able to break apart boulders like this. Big damage. Come on. Big damage. Okay, I've got a lot of stone. I guess I can craft some useful stuff now. The, uh, the gathering aspect's interesting where it's got, like, a moving X that you need to attack to chop down the trees. I mean, it's more interesting than just statically standing there hitting the same spot. Good effort, Rust. Making gathering more engaging. There it is. Good fight, tree. Nice. So let's craft ourselves a hatchet. I hope the players on the Southeast Asian server are going to be friendly. I don't know, though. I've, he I've heard that Rust can be toxic sometimes. We are decimating this tree. Easy tree, easy life. Abandoned cabins. I should have gone to that point of interest, really. Okay, let's go to the abandoned cabins. Wait, shouldn't I make a weapon? Wooden spear, that's what we need. My character's starving. Okay, we've got mushrooms. Okay, the mushrooms helped. No negative side effects from seeing wild mushrooms. Am I hearing a helicopter? Oh my god, there's a helicopter in the distance. Is that another player driving that? Oh god, there's another player. What's he doing? Oh my god, he's got his fucking ass hanging out. Oh my god. Is that how it's supposed to be? Let's kill or be killed out here, motherfucker. <laughs> We stabbed him in the ass. Oh, there it is. Loot. Yoink. I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking, like, maybe I'm on some kind of uh, modded server or something. All right, so now I've acquired that person's stuff. I need to go and find a nice place to build a storage chest and a house so that all of my stuff is now protected for when they come back for revenge. This area here looks nice and safe to build a house. On top of a hill so I can see everyone. I haven't seen any animals in this game yet. Is this just hunt other players? I was expecting to get mauled by a bear or something. <sighs> Hello? I'm new to Rust. Can you teach me the game? No. -uh. I tried to make a friend. Not today. <laughs> okay, I've got my building plan. What do I do with this? This looks like a nice safe area. Here, we're gonna do a four by four. So start simple, okay. Okay, I want a wall. Right click when equipped for more options. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty good. So, uh, wall. Wall, okay. The building system in this game seems pretty intuitive, actually. Have a door here. Wall, window, window, wall, wall, wall. Okay, then we're gonna have to do roof. Oh, nice little truck. Triangle foundation there for some- Whoa! Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm new to this game. How do you play Rust? Has this motherfucker just rolled up and just, just claimed my house? Would you like to team up? There's not a whole lot of trust going on here, is there? What the fuck? Are you in need of a home? Has he just fucking yoinked my house? I need to fucking put a door on my house quickly. Quickly, quickly. Door, 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 door. Craft. Door, door. Haha, -ha. now no one can get in. You what? You what? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh What are you doing to my house? Get off my land. This is my land. Oh my god. My land! I got killed with a bloody gun! Here's me using a fucking spear! And Mr. 123 comes in hot with an MP5 to my face! Fuck, dude. Now I know how the Native Americans felt. <laughs> and there it is. And we're back on the beach. None, none of them wanted to be friends with me. I, I, I tried to reason with them. I tried to use people skills, but I guess I need to level up that aspect. Apparently there's going to be a server wipe in one hour. I mean, if that means everyone starts from the beginning, that could be super fun. If I hit this with a rock, will I die? Maybe. Wait, if I hit it with fire... Is that... Are we gonna... No, because if you hit a barrel of oil with a rock, it's not gonna blow up. It would only blow up if you hit it with a... If you shot it with a gun. Okay, I'm glad this game plays by common sense rules. 
Okay, so it seems as though you can find some pretty cool stuff by going to the points of interest on the map and, like, looting buildings. Gone for a swim. Jesus, am I just gonna drown here? It doesn't seem as though there's any way out of the water. Can I... Can I... Ugh. Helico... Maybe the helicopter will come and save me. Let's get my torch out. Let's wave the helicopter down. Help! Save me, I'm drowning! Helicopter! I don't think they saw me. I think I'm gonna have to take a different approach when meeting people. I'm gonna try speaking Thai. Can I drive a forklift? Cannot. I hear gunshots. Let's get low. Let's put some food on the campfire. Bloody burnt myself on my fire, but we are cooking human flesh. You've got to do what you've got to do to survive. Less than an hour into my rust adventure and I've resorted to cannibalism. Hello? Do you speak English? Stay back. Stay back. How's it going? I've just got a rock. I'm new to this game. Can you show me the ropes? No. <laughs> There's no trust whatsoever. Okay, have a nice day. Oh my god, dude, there's like no trust in this game. How do you get people to trust you? Maybe the I'm a new player line gets used too much to betray people. Right, come on, let's drink some water. Drink. Salt. Oh, cannot. Salt water. Well, that's what I was thinking. I need to be quick. I've got three hydration left. Oh, oh god, I'm starting to get some weird blood overlay on my screen. I think I'm getting close to death. Ooh, are you sleeping? <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, <laughs> what? Oh my god, was that a bait? I was just coming to say hello. Wait, I'm alive? What? Well, I was, and then I died of dehydration. Oh my god, this game's brutal. Lock the door, create a key, and now I have a key for my door. And now, the door is locked. And now I'm completely safe. My house now. So now I've got a safe place to... Hang out. Um, I guess the next thing I would do is make a storage chest. Got, a, got my little storage box here. I am surviving in rust. Door is locked. Yes. There's a light over here. Shh. This could be our chance. This looks like another player. Or is this a building? Oh, it's a vehicle that's on fire. Mount. I'm driving a car. Well, kind of. Push the object. I can, I can push the car. Is this barbed wire? Is this gonna. I guess I need to crawl underneath it. N no. Wait. I'm gonna be locked out of my house. Because I died over here. I had the key over here on my dead body. And now my, I've locked myself out of my house. It's night time. I can't really do too much. I think there's gonna be a server wipe very soon. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, we're finally in the game. That was a long ass queue and it's raining. We're on the beach. Fresh server. Fresh start. No one's gonna have guns, I think. I hope. I pray. What is that? A tent? Ooh, loot. Okay. Yoink. Alright, let's not fuck around. We need to look for mushrooms. We need to get a wood. We need to get a spear. Spear is the priority. So unlucky, dude. When it's night time and you're a new player and you're on the beach, you got no resources, you just kind of fuck. No one's gonna see me in the dark like this. This is the safest way to move around, I think. This game's got some fucking crazy scary atmosphere, because when you- oh, oh, fucking! Dude, you scared the crap out of me. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Mate, mate, I've got a fucking spear, I'm warning you. That's what you get. I was trying to be nice. I got one HP. I, I got I got one HP. It's dark. I'm scared. I'm I'm alone. It's the most brutal game I've ever played. Bandage. Medic. Bandage. Cloth. Is that it? it recovers five H five HP. The fire. There's people over there. There's someone behind me. There's someone behind me. I'm running. The atmosphere of this game. Like knowing that every single person is going to attack you and having to. Run around in the night time with your bloody torch off so you don't attract attention. That's crazy. This looks like a safe haven. I was actually going into this thinking that people would genuinely want to group up with me. Wait, here we go. Hello, do you want to group up? Let's go, let's go. 
We have found a friend. Yeah, look at that sunset. Two new friends wandering off into the great wilderness together. Wait, what? What happened to my friend? Jerry? What happened? Jerry hath been smited down by the god of rust, apparently. We made a friend. The friendship lasted about two minutes and he's bloody dead. Is that an animal? Oh my god, I found my first fucking animal to hunt. I can finally get some food. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! Um, but not for me! Or become food. Either one. New strat. Don't try and go it alone. Don't even bother hitting trees alone. Just find friends. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any gaming friends in Southeast Asia. What happened? <sighs> Rust players! Okay, we've found some friends. Hello, can you teach me to play Rust? I feel like the new kid at school, I'm just going up to groups of people trying to be friends and I'm constantly getting rejected. It's really sad. <laughs> Shall we group up? Okay, I think the crouching thing is like a sign of peace. Okay, we're doing the crouching. Okay, I guess that's like a, a sign of peace in Rust. If, if you do the crouching thing from long distance, that's what I'm just going to assume. Let's make a castle together. I haven't got my rock. Do you need help building? I'm doing what I can to try and get social approval. Maybe this is my chance. <laughs> Let's put some wood on the floor. We need to win their trust. I feel- Are we slaves? Is, is that what we're doing here? Are we slaves? He's just pointing a gun at us and- What is happening? I think we're gathering for these people in order to be let into the building. That's- that Nothing's being said. I, I think this is what's happening in some kind of non-verbal agreement. Back to the fields I go. Working for the man. To give me a roof over my head. Let's go of the tribe. It looks like they're running together and they're on a hunt. Let me get my spear. Maybe I can prove myself in combat. I'm gonna help keep them warm with the torch in case it rains. I think this is how you join a clan in rest. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm not allowed to come on the hunt. And just like that, my friends sail off to sea without me. But it was nice of him to just fire a warning shot though. To be fair, I appreciate that. It was like a warning shot as if to say, know your place, peasant. <coughs> you just fall off the building. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hard Worker, fuck me. He's getting all the rewards. Am I working for free, am I? There's some kind of weird hidden, like character nodding language. Go Are they drug deal? I don't, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. There's some kind of weird language in Rust where you crouch and you bob your head and it means stuff. Okay, there seems to be some kind of trust system here. I'm soon dead. <coughs> they should rename Rust to Cold, Wet and Starving. Never mind, we do have some food. I can hit him in the dick with my axe. Pretty brutal, isn't it? Oh, fuck this, I can make it alone. I'm gonna get my fucking spear and I'm gonna fucking... Build my own house, and I'm going to defend it myself. See another player, I'm just running in the opposite direction. Maybe I'm playing it like the hardest time though, like the server has just come up. It's amazing how quickly these teams have built their structures though. It seems like you get set up very quickly in this game. Road. Oh, there's a horse, so... Can I yoink someone's horse? This might be my chance. That's my fucking horse now. Now we're making some meaningful progress. This is where I'm gonna build my house and I'm just gonna pray that no one fucking finds me whilst I'm building this. Put this chair right here. There we go. I've got a fucking chair in my house. And I can mount it, can I? There we go. <laughs> I can sit in a chair and whip out my weapon as if I'm waiting for someone. So this house is very well hidden. So let's take this horse. Let's go look for some food. What's 
far south? <gasps> I got killed by a crossbow Korean. Attempt at being friends round two. I'm not going to kill him, I'm just going to scare him. <laughs> He's not waiting for me. Fucking wait. He's just fucking running. He doesn't give a shit. Why are you running? I'm going to fucking hunt you down then. You're not going to be my friend. You're not going to be able to live. Fucking <laughs> wait. But, oh god, now now I can't see him. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm following Daikon across this entire map. I'm, I'm wondering at what point he's gonna stop running. <laughs> What's he fucking doing? Why is he running? <laughs> Come on, fucking get back here, dude. No one understands English. They can, they can understand fucking caveman suck language. I mean... Going into this, I wasn't expecting Rust to make for a super good first impressions game after the bloody stuff I've heard about it. Hopefully it was somewhat entertaining regardless. What was that? Semi-automatic rifle. So after playing Rust for a bit, my new player first impressions are as follows. Visually, the game looks really good. I like that you need to hit pressure points on the rocks and trees, which results in the gathering feeling less static. I like that the world in this game has this feeling of danger to it that I've never encountered in other survival games before. It's almost uniquely rust feeling, nobody trusts anyone, it's a very difficult game and any progress you make feels substantial. It's a super popular game and with server caps of up to 400 players, it actually has that MMO feeling to it. As a brand new player it's probably the most difficult survival game to get into. If you're sensitive to toxicity then this game isn't for you, and if you don't have a friend to play with or you're not good at making friends, then this game is probably not worth playing. Overall rust is a unique game that I think I'd have a lot of fun with if I found a community to play with in Southeast Asia. I hope nobody takes this video too seriously as the goal was to just document my new experiences as a brand new player for entertainment purposes. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know your thoughts on Rust in the comments below and what other survival style games would you like me to check out in the future. Social media links on screen, I hope you all had a successful day and I'll see you again really soon.